Welcome back everybody, I am with Dalmont plus 9 and Bench and we are going to check out Bench's station. So I'm just going to take my Mobius chair. The only way to travel. Yep, and I'm going to vacate the uh, peace liner. I've already taken a docking port just here on top. Although we are going to try and dock it inside. I'm just going to take a little whiz around so you know what we're dealing with here. So uh, it's larger than the old planets. It's got significant amount of space for docking things. I think I'm going to have a go at docking a few ships inside your station if you don't mind, Bench. Oh yeah, you totally can. And uh, how many blocks is this at? Do you know? Uh, it is at one five three four zero zero eight. So that's less than one point five million. That's less than I thought. Indeed, I was expecting yeah. at least 2 million. Yeah. So, a, just a quick question. Um, I know obviously there's docking ports inside. Are you yes. going to put docking ports on top, like where I put my ship? Or are they just there'll be, cosmetic? There'll be smaller docks on smaller the outside. Ones. Think like Bespin Cloud City. Yeah. Sort of just pads that people land on. Yeah, that makes sense. I like it. Um, and is there any particular part which is still work in progress that you'd like to point out? or? Uh, there's a lot of work in progress. Uh, if you find the one which is glowing green, uh, you'll see the one which is most showcasing the, the most that's done. Oh yeah, beautiful. I'm going to take another I'm gonna turn and go back the way I came. Really nice. Yeah, thanks for joining, Captain. It's good to see you around. You'll have to come by sometime. Oh Kick it with the kick it with the mushrooms. We don't bite hard. Yeah. Allegedly. It's more of a love bite. Allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah. The rumors of our teeth, you know, and well, toothiness, I guess, would be our I'm greatly harmless. exaggerated. I'm completely harmless. It's, so, it's the Tom, rest of them you have to worry about. Wow. You're just, the... you're just staying in You're just staying in that green section. I'll flip a switch, and you can see how it all changes with the color. Okay. Oh, the the dock closes, or as the, the door closes. I have got maximum, what do I call it? So it does take a while for my blocks to. Oh no, I'm stuck outside. That nice. Is cool, man. Damn, nice. Skull and crossbones. I'm stuck outside though. <laughs> Alright, I'll open it up again. Yeah. I'm stuck inside. <laughs> Go through the face. I love how the, the green lights actually move down the runway until they hit the door. That's that's really cool. Yeah, it's just uh, from the amount that's on here, I realized oh, it all emanates out from the, the activation module, which kind of makes it oh, kind of open and close from one side, which is pretty cool. Mm, it all kind of I like that. I didn't works like that, that rather than from the middle area or something. We'll go hit it again. Oh yeah, it's sort of going around. Sorry guys, on my screen it takes a little bit longer than everybody else because uh, I've got my ray tracing like jacked right up. So it does take a little while to chunks for chunks to update. Which can, it does mean I have to literally sort of fly around where everything changes colour. <laughs> and then it will be right, so just give me a minute. <laughs> Don't hit the button again quick. <laughs> Don't hit because <laughs> I'm still changing all the colors. Hang on. I'm literally, it's like I gotta fly around painting everything. Come on. That's it. Oh no, there's a door. Where'd the door come from? Okay, fine. So, yeah, uh, the hangers can be split in half if I need more smaller hangers. Uh, That's good. That's good. Half. It's alright. I think, I think we've got it now. I think we got it. So, there it is. The red state. I love the little skulls you put everywhere, they're great. Yeah, I thought it'd be good to kind of play on that sort of theme. And uh, there's not enough pixel art in 
things like stations and stuff, I believe. But I'm old school yeah, Minecraft. Yeah, once you have the scale, you gotta use it. <laughs> right, let's bring a ship in then, shall we? Open up that door. Yeah. Alright, let me... F I'm holding shift trying to fly around in a build block and it's still, it's too massive to even get around everywhere. Yeah. Alright, anyway, yeah, I've left the other one completely open so you should be able to fly your, your party bus in there. Okay, let's try it. <laughs> Fighting the drag. Huh. Huh. Yay. Oh wow, first time. Okay. I think I'm gonna have to come in the back, aren't I? Yep, yep, yep. One of the planned features for the hangars as well is uh, I've left sections on the top where I'll be able to fill it with like lights and then because of the way that we've got docking set up here on the Mushroom Fleet server I can put like area triggers above the docking area so I'll be able to kind of gauge how in line your massive ship is with the center docking point. So you'll be able to see visually whether you need to go left or go right. Hmm. Like activation blocks or something. Cool. Yeah, sort of. Area triggers will trigger with a ship moving through? Yep, yes. of course. Specifically, though. Cool. Right, I think they ought to move that to cockpits, to be honest. I think it docks with the core. Uh, maybe try the other side. Where there's no other ships you're gonna. Oh no no no! That's the thing. This cause the cause right at the front on this. Ah. So unless the unless oh is it going to turn around? Right. Okay. It's yeah. going to turn around. <laughs> that means yeah, I'm going to have to probably dock it here. Hey. Yeah. Do you know what? It's a snug fit, man. It's a snug fit. It definitely. It I mean I could close it and it will close up all nice. <laughs> it fits. It does. It will close. It's good. I'm not even poking into you or the door. Wow. Uh, look, I can close look the door that. behind you. I think your antenna on the very top might be like one or two blocks too high. It to is. Get out. It is. Yeah. It is. But I, I could mean, just shave on that the off. Hole, that's all right. Yeah. <laughs> but it fits snug. It's in. It fits good. Fits on everything. Right, test number two. The, the opening on both sides is, if you've got a massive ship, you're not going to be wanting to try and back that thing out or try and turn it around or something. So being able to fly straight through the hangars seems like the most logical thing. Where, um, if you can go forward, just go forward rather than trying to back out because you can't see what you're doing. I had a faction home base just like that, actually. But mine was less pretty and a box. <laughs> it had a station on top of it though, do you know what I mean? That was like my you know yeah. this'll make it better. But look at that. I think uh, everyone's everyone's built one of them before. <laughs> I can't believe this, but the uh, the shroom slice fits in here as well. I just parked oh, it in the other side. It's nice. <laughs> I just parked in the other side, it's beautiful. Dry dock screenshot. It's amazing. Some of the other things I've got planned just for this main hangar area is uh, near where your uh, the entrance is for the actual people. Once you get out of your ship, I'm gonna add like uh, whether I go down and embed it into the floor a bit more, but I'm just gonna have a little area where you can park and then. So that's all going above. Deck. That'll be above, and um, below there'll be like manufacturing and stuff. So I've added a turbo deck, a turbo lift in, it just goes straight through the middle of it all, so it probably skips about five floors. Yeah. Be able to get to the bottom, 
um, because otherwise oh. it's going to be a pain trying to get everywhere. Um, but then, because it's called Smuggler's Cove, I wanted it to be like a space version of a cove, so I'm actually going to, after it, it's going to be really painful to try and build, but I'm going to try and do it. Um, this whole station's going to sit in this, like, big field of asteroids and remnants of a ship, of a, uh, a planet that's been blown apart, so it looks like the station itself is kind of sitting in this kind of space version of a, a cove. Um, where you kind of have to navigate your way through some of the big asteroids and stuff and you'll see like remnants of ships smashed into asteroids and parts of the planet and stuff that's kind of has scaffold around it as well like it's it's kind of like uh, Tortuga where it's like made up of pieces of just whatever people have found so it feels very much like um, a, a place that's that's built by pirates, by smugglers, like, they're just using whatever they can get their hands on. The whole station itself, and that'll, that'll be part of a station as well, so people don't end up messing it all up. <laughs> so it's probably going to end up um, being quite large. Yeah, I mean, no, no reason not to make it all the way... Well, I you know, I, I don't know. I guess there's no real penalty for stations being really big, right? Yeah. It's just load time. But again, I mean, it was originally because of sector sizes. You didn't want to go over a sector. Um, but with the sector size here being like 10,000 or something, um, we're not going to run into that issue at all. So I suggest, Tom, you try out the, the grav lifts the side grav lifts that are on the, the upper deck. Um, they're the only ones that have been set up thus far. I'm at the entrance to one tunnel if you want to come meet me. Yeah, where are you? Uh, if you look in your radar for the bang hole. Number one, number two. Where is this? You want to head up uh, above the top of the station. Okay. There you go, you're swinging around. See me? Yeah, I'm here. So head down to that red, uh, yellow stripe tunnel. Okay, let's do this. Ooh, what's this? Helmet's on for safety. Oh, uh, it's alright, I'm a space whale. So hit the gravity panels here on this ring and it'll run you the radius of the ship to the center. Whee! Oh man. Oh hello. Oh wait, there's more. Okay, cool. Just don't fall down. Don't fall down. I haven't, I, I haven't set those ones up. Yes, don't. <laughs> okay. I'll jump down there in a minute. Looks really nice. Yeah, I wanted some high ceilings. Uh, I know people, it's usually quite, quite, um, a lower ceiling than that, but I wanted it, just the, the largeness of the station itself, um, to kind of... Yeah, it's cool with the walls at, at eye level and then the windows are actually above it's nice delivery yeah and i wanted to be able to do this sort of crazy support with all these different angles and, and pieces that go into them well the uh, monitor with the active stacked on top of the activation block with a couple of wedges it's a nice, nice touch design yeah. for a simple console Gotta love those screen blocks, man. I spent all afternoon with them, <laughs> putting them all over my ship. <laughs> Put it back, yo! Oh, you actually in those lifts travel. You actually travel faster through the lifts than I can fly in build mode, holding shift. Uh. The, uh, you got the, the windows looking out to the different hangers. 
be able to this is like support systems like for logic and stuff Wow, there you have it. Mm.